I don't need you. I survived years without you, and it was hard at first. I learned to adapt. I'll do it again. I don't want you here. I know. I heard that. Then why did you come? Because, Star, with Cole and Hope gone, you need your family now more than ever. We all know how much family means to you, right? You only murdered your brother, the man that I had come to think of as my father. Victor was never your father. You're not even sorry. No, the only thing I'm sorry for, Star, is what you're going through right now. I believed in you. I defended you. I agreed to help you, and you lied to me. I didn't lie to you deliberately. <sighs> I didn't. I didn't remember ever killing Victor. When you asked me if I was innocent, I, I thought that I was telling you the truth. Well, at some point, you did know, and you kept on lying to me. I didn't want to lose you. Too late. It'll never be too late for me, Shorty. Come on. Stop. Don't call me Shorty. You are not sorry for what you have done. You're just sorry that you got caught. All the horrible things that have ever happened in this world. If I could go back and change any of them, the thing that I would go back and change is what has happened to Cole and to Hope. I would bring them back to you. But you can't. They're gone. I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. And soon there'll be a trial, and I will probably be held accountable for some of the things that I've done wrong. But until that trial, I'm gonna sit right here, and you can kick and scream all you want. You can do whatever you need to do. I'll be here for all of it. Loose. I was just so happy that you weren't anywhere near me. All I really wanted was for Hope to have the kind of life that your mother and I could never really provide for you. I shouldn't have tried to come home. You should still be in California right now. When everybody was screaming and yelling at me about how I'm so irredeemable. I would take comfort in thinking about you in California with your family. You know, picture you at the beach with Cole walking with hope between you and she would reach up and grab each of your hands and you would you would swing her up into the sun. <laughs> Stop it! Stop. Star, you made something beautiful. You made something beautiful. She had your smile. We did build sand castles together. And Cole and I would laugh because Hope took it so seriously. You'd say this is Belle's room, and this is the beast's room. Oh, I miss them so much. How can they be gone? How can they be gone? Who was driving? Cole. The accident wasn't his fault. We weren't talking, and we. And he asked me something. <laughs> he asked me something really important. And he was waiting for my answer. And that's when the headlights just came straight at us. Drunk driver. 
No, he didn't seem drunk. He said it wasn't his fault. You spoke with him? Well, when I got out of the car, I, I tried to get Cole out, but his, his leg was broken. So Cole and Hope were stuck inside. What was the other driver doing? He was this older guy. And I, I begged to use his phone because I couldn't find my phone and Cole's phone was broken. Um, I needed to call 911 and he, he let me do that. Okay. Did he say anything else? He said that he, he heard a car come and he got scared because he said that someone was chasing him, that someone shot out his tires. Did he give a name? Sonny Corinthos. He said I should blame Sonny Corinthos. Sonny Corinthos. Corinthos, that's... That's why I knew that guy's name. The guy that tried to get Hope and Cole out of the car. Dad, I need to get to the police station. I need to tell them what I know. It's okay. No, come on, it's we need to tell them. It's, it's alright. I'll make everything alright. You just need to get some rest. Mom's on the phone with John trying to track down Cole's parents. She's going to be back here any minute. She's not going to be happy to find you here. Mother knows that I'm here. She saw you? Yeah, she, she's a little cranky. You're out on bail. You're not even supposed to leave Landview. So, I'm surprised well, she hasn't turned you in already. Stop. You don't need to worry about this, okay? Really? Dad, please. Don't. Do not get into a fight with Mom. That's not what I need right now. I'm not going to. I love you. Please get some rest. <laughs> Don't you worry. Sonny Corinthos isn't going to get away with hurting my family. Cool. 